question was formative versus summative, and we didn't specify whether that was assessment and or feedback. So just to give you an idea of what we discussed, um, we were thinking about over-assessment and fatigue, as you've got a lot of formative assessment leading to a summative, and there was a balance to be addressed there. Um, then we were looking at the fact that both seem to be required, and one very much supporting the other, and they should be used in a supportive way rather than versus each other. And so it's, it's not one and then the other, it's both leading to it, which leads into the best point that was made was that there seems to be a spectrum as a student progresses through the higher education. What was summative is now formative, and then on to the next one, and then that becomes as you progress from year to year to year, which I thought was a nice idea. Well, whether you're a proponent of one or the other, if you can see it as a continuous spectrum, then you can justify it at any point. Um, we, we turned the attention towards whether... Um, if there was too much formative assessment, would that necessarily dilute the summative assessment? And the feeling was probably it would. Um, but again, it's a balancing act. And the best one was if we twitched the whole thing around and turned it at the staff-facing rather than student-facing direction, and how staff feel about being formatively assessed versus summatively assessed in their ability to do their job mm -hmm. versus their ability as a student to pass a degree. And I thought that was a very interesting because a lot of staff are very much more fragile than most of the students that we get through in Europe. <laughs> and so that was, uh, that was the main discussion point. Thank you. I'll just add a couple of things to that. If you look at the literature on formative and summative assessment, you'll find that purists say that you can't muddle the two up. I think that's wrong. I think that if you get a number that's a summative mark, it may not be very formative rich, unless we have, like this morning's example, you get nice lots of feedback straight away. But it is in some degree, uh, it is in some degree formative because it tells you what you can do next or what you can't do next. I'm quite keen on summative assessment that builds on earlier formative assessment. And I like your idea of progression so that as the student moves through the program, they get more and more sophisticated in using formative assessment and actually build through to the summative. So I think that's very helpful. Thanks.